We went inside a working hot dog factory to show you the truth, what really goes in and what makes them taste so delicious. Wieners. Some people call this food. They take pork, beef, chicken, natural fibers, which fills the stomach without adding calories, puree from Japanese caught fish, too small to legally harvest. Add mammal giblets, in this case lungs, hearts, and intestines. Though insiders say it's mostly unrinsed rectums. These 70 pounds of hog cellulite will make for a nice drip on your barbecue this summer. Using a pitchfork to avoid skin contact, remainders are left to stew at room temperature for three days. The bone auger extrudes a colorless, flavorless congeal of assorted meat, filler, and live cultures. This preserves the flavor when it's in transit in unrefrigerated trucks. Charcoal, sulfur, and saltpeter are added to give it an extra kick. The tears of orphans lend bitter notes science cannot yet replicate. 800 pounds of snouts and sphincter add to the flavor while ensuring the lowest possible price to consumers. More filler and additives thicken the amalgam, making it even more profitable still. Melamine and clay are used to increase weight and protein while reducing costs. Rendered carcasses of unclean animals, goats, rabbit, pig, and crawdads are brought to a heavy boil over a period of several minutes. A laborer shovels out bits before passing on the broth to be used later in a flavor soak. The products are sprayed in a bath of hydrogen peroxide. Surprisingly, there is no chemical reaction. Here, blood plasma is added from livestock and other natural sources. It bathes in a pink froth of meaty brine as it enriches with nutrients. What looks like urea over cellulite may be an omen of things to come. The outturder spills an organic slurry onto the shark belt. Excrement is sprayed over frank rollers. Gotta admit, the texture looks pretty appetizing. Workers pack barrier tubes ready for injections of steaming hot salty beef loads. An all natural substance makes perfect tubes in which to safely blast the hot beef. They are careful to make sure no infections occur, as that's the whole point of these sorts of hot toad casings. They draw them out of the froth, oh so slowly, making sure not to drip. This worker handles wieners by hand job as they fly at her face. Watch the shaking vibrations as she earns money to put diapers on her grandkids. The lengths of dogs are then fed in the machine, which keeps them at room temperature for three days. They're bathed in a water brine of salt, then sodium chloride, alkali, natrium perchlorate, and NaCl, finishing off with a mist of persine perennium cholesterol for flavor. This man is cursed to release a cloud of toxic chemicals every hour for life. Hot dogs are not fit for vegans, vegetarians, kosher or halal diets, or omnivores. Everyone else should be just fine. This conveyor, known as the Sausage Fest, can handle more wieners per hour, some say, than two madre. Here, the wiener grabber 3000 snatches up sausages and jams them into a waiting canal, also similar to the process used by two madre. The prophylactics are dick strip, leaving them bareback and ready for the mouths of hungry consumers. A wiener chucker looks for burnt or discolored units to package as premium grade. This factory makes 300,000 hot dogs an hour, enough to sicken the whole U.S. population every 42 days, assuming no one has seconds. But when they taste this good, 
why wouldn't you go back for more? And that is how hot dogs are made. Yeah, I'm not going to eat.